Hi everyone, so this is another big number video. So I just realized there's still some people that vastly underestimate the size of Graham's number or even G1, which is three, four arrows three, which is the first level of Graham's number. So today I'm gonna try to explain it a little more, a little bit more and compare it to um, Googleplex, triple arrow Googleplex. So I already mentioned in some of my other videos, I already talked about, um, I already told you or explained to you, even Googleplex, double arrow Googleplex is way, way, way smaller than G1, which is not very hard to see why, because Googleplex, double arrow Googleplex, it is basically a explan exponential tower, so a power tower with uh, which is a Googleplex levels high. So it is Googleplex to the Googleplex to the Googleplex to the Googleplex da 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 for a Googleplex number of times. But for G1, uh, which is three, four arrows, three, and this one is equal to three triple arrow of three triple arrow three. So this is basically a tetrational tower because this three arrows is way, way, way more powerful than a exponential tower. So this is a tetrational tower, which is three, uh, three arrows, three high. So the level itself is also way, way, way taller because three triple arrow three is way bigger than a Googleplex. So that's why you can clearly see that uh, G1 is way bigger than a Googleplex, double arrow Googleplex. But now, um, since this is clear, but I want to one up this by or a Googleplex up this by putting one more arrow between the Googleplex. So now it is Googleplex triple arrow Googleplex versus G1. So which one is bigger? Um, so you can think about it for a little bit, and then you can continue the video. So now let's see which one is bigger. So. Googleplex, triple arrow Googleplex, basically is equal to Googleplex, double arrow Googleplex, double arrow Googleplex, da 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 da, for a Googleplex number of times. So what is what does it look like? It looks something like this. I know it's very hard to visualize um, uh, three arrow or four arrows, but here it is. So first you start from the right to the left. So the first la towers over here, the first level, is so this is what a tetrational tower looks like so it's googleplex to the googleplex to the googleplex da, 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 for a googleplex number of times and this is the first level and the second level same thing is google googleplex to the googleplex to the googleplex da, 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 for a number of times that is equal to this number over here so this tower is a lot, lot, lot bigger than this one. And then you continue this process for a total of a Googleplex number of times. So as you can see, uh, Googleplex three arrows, Googleplex is way, way, way bigger than Googleplex, double arrow Googleplex. So what about three, four arrows, three G1? So again, it means three, triple arrow, three, triple arrow, three. Again, you start from the right to the left, so it's it is three double arrow three double arrow three da 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 for three triple arrow three number of times. So it looks something like this. So first level is three to the three to the three, which is around seven point six trillion, and then the next level is three to the three da 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 with seven point six trillion level. So same idea as this one. You continue the steps for three triple arrow three times. So which one is bigger? I think if you already know how the arrow works, you can already kind of see the answer here. So this one, um, the first level is three to three to three, which is around seven point six trillion. So the second level is actually three triple arrow three. Uh, so there are three. So there are 7.6 trillion threes in the second level and the third level, there are three, three arrows, three levels. So already this level has a lot more threes than the first level over here. And then the next level 
so the number of threes in this level of course it just is bigger than this one because this number is smaller than this number and so on and of course the most important part is that three three arrows three is way 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 bigger than the googleplex so that means the number of levels overall over here is much bigger than the number of levels over here and already um let's remind us again the fact that three to the three to the three to the three to the three so five threes over here is already bigger than a googleplex so what it means is that let's say you have a power tower with a lot of threes so the top five threes is already bigger than a googleplex and then the next five threes again is bigger than the googleplex the next five three again is bigger than the googleplex so that means if let's say for this power top of threes if this uh number of threes is bigger than five if five times of googleplex they mean that means this power tower is already much much bigger than the googleplex to the googleplex to googleplex for a googleplex number of times because i mean i already explained already so each five threes is bigger than one googleplex so all you need to bid this thing is you need five times uh of googleplex the number of threes and again of course this thing over here which is the third level it has these many threes and this number is of course way 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 bigger than five times a googleplex so again you can already see that each tower over here correspondingly is bigger than each tower over here and of course after this thing over here it finished at a googleplex level but after for this one it doesn't end at googleplex it still have a lot a lot more until three you reach three triple arrow three so in short answer yes g1 is still far larger than googleplex triple arrow googleplex it's not even close i think this is a little bit surprising for some of you because some of you still think googleplex double arrow googleplex is already bigger than g1 but it's not in fact g1 is even bigger than Googleplex three arrows Googleplex. Actually, there's another way quickly to show you. I already explained it in my one of my other video, which is named uh, Power Tower Paradox. So here, as you can see, Googleplex triple arrow Googleplex has three arrows, and G1 has four arrows, of course. But you can break it down like this. So uh, here is easier to compare because this one also has three arrows, so three, three arrows of three, three arrows, three. Um, so basically, um, the only difference here is the beginning number and the uh, and the end number because you have the same number of arrows in the middle. So basically, you are asking yourself, so which one is bigger? Yeah, which one has a Pay, plays a bigger role in increasing the size of a number is it the front number or the end number so in this case you have a much bigger end number but in this case you have a much bigger front number so let's take a quick example over here let's say three double arrow three and let's try to increase this by doing three different ways so the first way is you increase the end number by one the second way is you increase the front number by one and the last way is you increase the number of arrows by one. So let's see the answer. The first one, three double arrow four is equal to three to the three to the three to the three, which is around, which is equal to around 10 to the power of 3.6 trillion. And the second one, three, I mean four double arrow three, it means four to the four to the four, which is around 10 to the power of 154. And of course, three triple arrow three is equal to a very, very big number. A power tower of three which is around 7.6 trillion levels high so clearly for this simple example here you can clearly tell the fastest way to grow a number is by increasing the number of arrows the second fastest way is to increase the end number and the slowest way in this case is increasing the front number so this already give you a kind of shortcut way to give you a quick idea of which one is bigger in this case 
which is right. This one is bigger. But however, this is not always the case because we know that um, Googleplex, double arrow Googleplex is actually bigger than three, triple arrow three. So even though this one has one more arrow than this, but this number still beats this number. But this is just a rare case because the end number and the front number is just, you know, it happens to be too small in this case to beat Googleplex, uh, double arrow Googleplex. To, to show you how this is rare because you just in change the three to four, this is already bigger than Googleplex to the double arrow Googleplex. So four, triple arrow four is already way bigger than this number over here. And you can do the math yourself. So anyway, hope this will give you a better idea uh, of how big G1 or Googleplex is. So even Googleplex, triple arrow Googleplex is no match for G1. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.